let's do this. <laughs> Here we go again. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five cents is working. Hope your health and strength is good. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? You know, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad, what's up? All right. You, you, you know ray tracing is dead, right? Ray tracing is dead. We have path tracing. <laughs> so they're playing around here. NVIDIA is working on it. So that thing probably will be uh, path uh, tracing would be uh, probably be out when probably the Unreal Engine 6 is out. But anyway, we're talking about ray tracing, though, with the Steam Deck. So, you know, you know, Steam Deck, FSR, ray tracing. Eh, it's a Steam Deck thing. Anyway, let's get to this. Says here, what's up, PCN Games? Says here, uh, Steam Deck ray tracing support is here, and the, and the results are impressive. Yeah, it's a Steam Deck thing, man. Come on, man. Anyway, it says here, you cannot play Doom Eternal on your Steam Deck with ray tracing embedded for a prettier but understandably less performant experience. <laughs> PCN games always try to hate on the Steam Deck, but the Steam Deck is, 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 a, is a problem. Anyway, it says here, the Steam Deck packs a surprising amount of power for a handheld device. You know it. Capable of running demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077. It's nothing. It's a Steam Deck thing. Get get used to it. <laughs> and Dead Space Remake. Now the portable PC is flexing its muscle in a way I have never thought it would. As it now boasts support for ray tracing. Yeah. You're, you, you'd be forgiven to, for thinking we need to wait for the Steam Deck 2 before we saw ray tracing support on Valve's handheld. But the current system has packed necessary hardware since day one. You know it. Anyway, says here, however, there's been no software support for the feature until now, following the recent release of Steam OS 3.4.6 preview. Says shortly after the publication of the official patch notes, Valve coder Pierre Luc Griffiths <laughs> took a to Twitter to share a screenshot of Doom Eternal ray tracing running on Steam Deck. They they were even kind of kind enough to share performance metrics showing the game running at 35 frames per second while showing some art ray tracing reflections. Mm. Yeah, it's a Steam Deck thing, folks. Get to it. We couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, <laughs> says here, uh, tr uh, trying out the game for myself with ray tracing embedded, I am not, I am not so sure it's the way I prefer to play. Even turning settings down low and dropping the, the game resolution didn't massively help my frame rate. That said, I strongly suspect Valve is, will work to optimize and improve performance where it can, and I remain thoroughly impressed that it pulled this off on the Steam Deck in the first place. Then mm. it says, currently, Doom Eternal is the, is the only game to support ray tracing but it's likely won't be the last, given it's a, a few, given it a few months, possibly even weeks, and we could even see more of the best Steam Deck games packing fancy ray tracing effects. It's a Steam Deck thing, folks. What's wrong with you people? We couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. Mm. Ray tracing, yeah, the Steam Deck is a problem, man. <laughs> Is a problem so that that ray tracing is gonna go nice with our uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> oh Lord, how many games does the Steam Deck got here? How many games does the Steam Deck got? What 8,003 and counting? So, what Jedi Survivor, Suicide Squad, Killer Justice League, Street Fighter 6, uh, my god, Last of Us. Oh, oh, by the way, Last of Us come out this month. Um, all the games that are already out on the Steam Deck. Uh, Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls Online, Skyrim, Elden Rings, Spider-Man. Ah, it's a Steam Deck thing. What is wrong with you people? We couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. What is wrong with you people? Gabe Noel tried to warn you boys. You thought he was playing? Hmm. Yeah, the Steam Deck is a problem. Ray tracing at its finest. <laughs> Makes me wonder about the Steam Deck 2 with path tracing. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah. Gabe Noel, you are a fool for this one. <laughs> anyway, man, but um, this little handheld is impressive, man, for what you're getting. A 64 gig model. You can upgrade that. You got a 256 model. You can upgrade that. You got the 5, 12 uh, gigabyte one with the SSD. You can upgrade that to a 2 terabyte SSD. Then you got your 1 terabyte SD card to go with that. Or you could get the Micron 1.5 terabyte SD card to go with that. And then let's not and let's not forget J Socks with the uh, docking station with the external SSD support. Mm. Yeah, it's a steam deck thing. It's a steam deck thing, folks. Get used to it. <laughs> you know. So yeah, the steam deck is no joke, man. For for the games it's running, and this is just 2023. Mm. Game Pass. Mm. Nvidia GeForce Now. Mm. Starfield on the steam deck. Woo. Yeah, 2023 is awesome, folks. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. I'll go. Peace.